All right, guys, so these are the things that you'll need in order to get this project completed. You need yourself some paint, obviously. Here I have Duplicolor Engine Enamel. The stuff that they sell for brakes, specifically for brake calipers, is the same exact stuff, just relabeled, and it's a, like a dollar or two more expensive. They both withstand heat up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit anyway. Do your brakes get hotter than this? It's possible, but very unlikely. What I have here is gloss black. I have cast iron aluminum and I also have clear. You'll need yourself some painters tape to block off anything that you don't want paint getting on and you'll need some sandpaper. I believe this is 800 grit. So it's kind of a high uh, rating to start with but also my brakes don't have much rust on them. That's It's all surface rust which means that it's going to be very easy to sand off. All right, so we have the wheel off now, and the first thing that we want to do is use a wire brush and basically just clean off all the surface rust, everything that you see, just scrub it away. And of course, try not to breathe this stuff in. It's rust after all. If your rust is really bad, you'll actually see flakes of rust coming off. Here, I just see dust, which means that the rust is not that bad. But the whole purpose of this job is to basically get rid of this rust and have a layer of paint over it so that number one not only do the brakes look nicer i mean these aren't anything amazing you think these are like single piston calipers so it's not a brake setup that i have to show off or anything but it's nice not to have the rust look on all your you know rotors and calipers but at the same time having a layer of paint over them will prevent further rust from happening after you've done the rotors, you want to do the caliper itself as well. After that's done, you want to go with a higher grit so that you can sand it more smooth. Any imperfections uh, that you see right now are going to show up in your paint, so you want to make this job as smooth as you can. After that's done, you're going to want to clean it off as much as you can. Get rid of any remaining rust that might be there. And basically use the towel that you're going to throw out at the end of all this. You're going to want to let this dry completely, so it's a good time to take off the next tire and start cleaning that one while this one dries. So the color scheme that I'm doing requires me to take off this piece so that it can be cast iron or aluminum. This is going to be black, and the rotors here are going to be the same cast iron aluminum. So let me get this piece off. Make sure you shake up the can really well. First coat, something very light. Just let, let it dry for a little bit, and then you can put on a second coat. While you're waiting for stuff to dry, it's a good time to actually tape off anything that you don't want painted. So I think the first thing that we're going to want to paint is the calipers. And then I'm going to mask off the calipers and paint the rotors on this side so that I could spin it as I paint it and not get any on the calipers themselves. So the first thing is to tape off the rotors. I wouldn't worry about getting 100% coverage of the rotors simply because we're going to be spraying the rotors later on anyway. Remember your brake pads meet this area so while it's best to have it covered I personally don't mind as after you know, the first couple of stops that you make it's going to rub off all the paint anyway. So there's really no need to cover this off unless you're really worried about the paint residue staying inside your brake pads which generally isn't a big deal. It's a good idea to mask off the rest of the car so that you don't get any overspray on it. It's easy to get out with a clay bar and actually I have an overspray from another project. So I'm going to be detailing the whole car which is why I'm not completely covering this. So I am taking some precautions not to get any overspray on the rest of the car. Time to do the first coat in black. And again remember the first coat is a really light coat so don't overdo it.
a lot of time is spent waiting. So what you could do is stagger all the painting processes so that you're always keeping busy and there's always something ready to be painted. All right, this is the second layer. Nice and thick this time. All right, now that you've gotten three to four coats of black on it and you're very happy with the coverage, just make sure you look at it from every angle and make sure that it's actually covered in black. Next thing that you're gonna do is wall off pretty much everything because we're gonna be spraying down the rotors now uh, with cast iron aluminum. The main things that you wanna cover off are obviously the caliper, but don't forget the uh, brake shield right here in the back. You don't want that to be cast iron. Basically, yeah, anything you don't want to be cast iron aluminum needs to be covered off. So this is a way of covering the caliper without actually needing to do it very neatly. Yet you're still gonna be able to cover it very well. So what I'm gonna do is spray at it from this angle right here, and I'm gonna continually turn the rotors so that the entire rotor is gonna be covered in the cast iron aluminum. You can always put in some bolts back into the hub so that you can actually turn the rotors without touching any part that's going to be painted. So one of the special touches that I'm doing is throwing on these BMW vinyl decals. So I'm just going to put it like so right there. Peel off the backing, just stick it exactly where you want it. Make sure you press it on nice and hard before you peel away the cover. There we go. I think this will add a nice almost OEM look to it. And what we're gonna do with this is actually put a clear coat over it so that the decal never falls off. You can see here there's a lot of overspray onto the rotors themselves, but once I drive the car for a little bit, this will all be gone. I'm actually gonna leave the car up on jack stands for the next day when I get the new tires and wheels mounted, which is why I can't show you the complete finished product yet. But at least when I reveal the new wheel setup, you'll see a nice set of brakes behind them as well. After I put back on the last piece here, the part where I put the BMW sticker, I'm going to clear coat the entire thing so that it has a nice gloss to it. Alright, so this is kind of like the finishing touch. Okay, so the final touch is to put a layer of clear coat over this so that it has a nice gloss. Make sure that you clean off any dust on it that's built up over the time of the project and just go ahead and spray on the clear. So that's basically how it looks after it's all said and done. I think having the BMW decal there really makes it look more OEM. And so if you guys subscribe, you'll see my next video when I put on the new wheels and tires, and it should be looking good. Let me know what you guys think, and if you have any questions or comments, leave it below, and I'll see you guys next time.